has arrived at last, so it's time to wiggle out of our warm woolly cocoons. Naturally, this raises the age-old question, what shall I wear? And the Lani Rani is here with some great ideas on how to chase the moths out of our wardrobes and spread our wings as spring butterflies. Spring is nature's own annual makeover, and each year the blossoms and blooms of the new season seem brighter and more beautiful than we ever remember them to be. Maverick Salfani, Shamara Mudli is a DIY fan who loves fusing the old and the new. And she was creating something special with fresh flowers, vintage vases and recycled tin cans when Karishma arrived at her home for some spring style advice. Shamara, so lovely to see you. It's such a pleasure to have you back here. Spring is in the air and I cannot wait to hear Shamara's fresh take on fashion and food. Karishma, spring is in full bloom and I'm so happy here. I have loads to share with you. I've just been busy arranging some of these flowers to brighten up my home. You can see the use of these different mismatched containers. Tin cans never go to waste in my house. So you can have a look there, see there. So here I just have a little vase that I love. It's actually my favorite water jug, but I've decided to use it for some flowers today. Beautiful. So do you want to head over to the kitchen? Because my kitchen definitely needs some brightening up. What do we have here? Well, Karishma, this is my family's absolute favorite. It's a simple, easy, my go-to favorite recipe. It takes multiple boxes. It's packed with protein. It has salmon, it has crab sticks and eggs. It is an amazing lunch, breakfast, and even an amazing appetizer for carb-conscious dinner guests. Sure way to impress everyone. So what's first? Basically, I would like to saute down my onions on the stove. To begin, Karishma, we're going to add some coconut oil and then we're going to start browning off our onions. Do you know the secret to caramelizing your onions super quick without the use of too much of oil? Low heat. Nope, a pinch of salt. It draws out all the water and it gets your onions really sweet and caramelized. Now tell me about these salmon offcuts. Can we use them like we'd use normal salmon that we used to? They're actually the side strips of uh, smoked salmon, basically. They're perfectly fine. They have an amazing smoky flavor. And yes, they could be used in pasta, in a fish chutney, or in a fish pie, or even fish quiche. So Karishma, my onions are nice and brown now, so I'm just gonna add in my chili and my garlic. I'm serious, I could not live without these things. So next up, my favorite part, and I know you're a fellow Spice Girl just like me, right? So I'm gonna throw in the chili powder. Listen, you can go to town with these, just depending on your preference. This is smoked paprika. So it has an awesome smell and a lovely red color. Next up, my granny's favorite, the turmeric. And then lastly, a little bit of coriander powder. Just gonna give it a quick stir before I add in the crab sticks. They add a really nice sweetness and they also pack with protein. I'm just going to give it a quick stir and coat it in the spices. Next in, I'm going to add my awesome smoked salmon. So Karishma, this makes loads. It freezes like a charm, so I'd suggest you stock up and keep them in the freezer and then you'll have loads of leftovers for breakfast or even an awesome brunch with salad. So now I'm just going to add some tomato paste just for a little bit of color and depth of flavor. That should do the trick. Next, I'm gonna add in my eggs. I don't really need that to cook through. I just wanna quickly give it a good stir. Just want it to form a nice mixture. And now I'm gonna add in the psyllium husks. Because this is gluten-free, there isn't any flour in here. Just wanna add in a little bit of this, which acts as a binding agent. But last but not least, it's time to add in my favorite fresh ingredient, given that it's spring. It's my favorite color too. It's time to add in the coriander. Yay. The mixture is ready and it's good to go. So now it's time to portion these babies up into these quaint little reusable containers. I mean, I'm all about dual purpose and reusing things and these make perfect little plant pots. And they're also just the perfect lunchbox size. And they come with these cute little lids. 
so there's absolutely no need for an actual lunch box. And I'm gonna pop these into the oven. So Karishma, that's just gonna be in the oven for 15 minutes. Shamara, what puts a spring in your step? What really puts a spring in my step, honestly, has to be the luxury of clean hair. You know, living in Cape Town with the water crisis, it is not an easy task getting clean, fresh hair every day. So I've got an easy hack, and it's all about the items you already have in your kitchen pantry. Now, would you like to have a sniff of this? Would you like to guess? Cocoa powder? Yes, it's actually cocoa powder and corn flour. So the corn flour is there to actually absorb the oil in your roots. And then the cocoa powder is because we have very dark hair and it smells awesome. Now you just need to use an old makeup brush and you just dab it on your roots. Now if you want a to-go version, I would suggest you try out this one. You're gonna try one part of corn flour, one part of rubbing alcohol and four parts of water. You're gonna put it into a little spray container, give it a good shake, and spray your roots. That is such an awesome tip. I'm definitely going to put that one to use. But now I really want to know, what are some spring fashion trends? Well, come and have a sneak peek in my wardrobe. In her Lani Rani avatar, as a fashion blogger, Shamara presents her take on style, often mixing on-trend items with classic pieces from a bygone era, repurposed with innovative flair. This looks so bright and beautiful. Tell me what's going on here. I love spring. It is honestly a metaphor for moving from being a caterpillar in winter to an awesome butterfly. I'm loving the pops of color and the hints of floral. So first tip, it's wearing two handbags, pairing something like a clutch with something functional like a shopper. And you know me, I'm a little bit of a basket case, all right. <laughs> so the baskets are still on trend. They're functional, they're pretty and they can also be used as a vase, right? So check this out. You can take some flowers, wrap it in clean wrap with a little bit of water, and voila, multifunctional tool right in your wardrobe. So that's styling in every platform. That is such a cool idea. So my favorite part is really all about the dress. For me, transitioning from winter to spring, I still want to wear something with a little bit of long sleeve covering up my knees. I still want to feel a little bit cozy, yet I want that pop. And I love my vintage floral dress. And I paired it with one of my sari belts. Now, you know us girls, we love beading. Sheer is in, so look for pieces in your wardrobe that you can possibly hand bead I mean, these are amazing. This sheer top could be paired with jeans, with a pair of boots, with a slip dress inside. This is so beautiful, and I can just imagine how versatile it can be. I know, and this color is amazing. It's perfect on brown skin. So I never really wear pastel colors. But pastels are now in, and I've managed to find a few bits in my wardrobe to do the trick. It's just got the right hint of quirkiness. Plastic is in, so you're going to start seeing little bits of plastic popping up everywhere. Now, I'm still maintaining my sustainable wardrobe and I am not buying anything. So this is the closest thing I could find in my current wardrobe. It's actually made of vinyl and it's a skirt I've had for a couple of years. I just love the pairing. Now, here we have the perfect matching of Indian and African. So this is African wax print foot and flare skirt that looks amazing on all types of body shapes. And this amazing top is basically an old kurti top that I have taken in so it has a much better foot. Do you think our wardrobes need to match the seasons? Well, it does because in a sense, the season reflects your mood. And so I feel like it's time for a change. I mean, your wardrobe needs to be functional and fabulous. So yes, you're going to need in the springtime to wear cooler fabrics, but then why not embrace nature and add a bit of color and a bit of pop to go with the flow, sister. Actually, I hear the oven going off, so it's time for me to plate up. You make yourself at home and we'll be ready in two minutes. Shamara's creativity isn't limited to home decorating and fashion, and she applies the same artful approach to color and texture when she presents a meal. I know you've been dying to try these. That looks so beautiful, oh my goodness. Why don't you drizzle some of the turmeric dressing on? Yum.
That is so divine. Mm. Cheers. Till next time.